What's good everyone, it's Adam from Ami Music Mall. Welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to remake from scratch Drake's 8 a.m. in Charlotte. The tempo for this one is 79 beats per minute and the track is produced by Conductor Williams and Mario Luciano. We're going to start off with the piano sound that you hear throughout the entire record. So for that, we're going to go over to our library browser. We're going to go over to piano. We're going to go over to processed and we're going to bring in the subtle dynamics piano. So let's go ahead and draw out the intro piano. So there's pattern one for the piano. We're gonna go ahead and bring in some effects. We're gonna open up the pedal board that's already on this track right here. I'm gonna bring in the retro chorus to make it more sort of old timely. And let's bring in some reverb as well. I'm gonna pull down the filter a little bit on this piano to make it a little bit more darker. Next, we're gonna go ahead and bring in a bit crusher just to bring in some of that sort of vinyl noise and crackle that you heard in the original track. So for this, we're just gonna bring it up to the resolution to 10 bits. And I kind of get that white noise background. I'm just gonna bring that uh, down quite a bit. Let's work on the second piano pattern.
Now let's add in some of those bass notes. We'll go down to here. So we're just gonna go ahead and duplicate that over, then we're gonna select all of them. And now we're gonna add some realism to the keys just to sort of not have all the notes play at the same time. So I'm gonna select all of my notes. I'm gonna go up to here. I'm gonna quantize to 16 and I'm gonna go to my cue flam and just drag that up a little bit. So you see how the notes move over. A little more realistic vibe. That is the piano. Now let's get to the drums. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track and go over to my browser and I saved a drum kit for this tutorial. The 8 a.m. in Charlotte drum kit. Start off with a snare, something really nice and easy, just on the twos and fours. Let's draw on the kick pattern. Just copy this over. And on the second part, we're gonna take out this one kick over here. Now let's put in that ride that's happening in the background. And I'm just gonna lower the velocity on these second hits just to give it some more realism. Now let's bring in that bass. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. And I'm gonna go over to my library browser. We're gonna go over to bass and we're gonna bring in the Liverpool bass preset. Let's go ahead and draw in that pattern. It's just two notes. On this bass, I'm gonna bring up the bass amp. I'm just gonna boost it a little bit and pull up the tone, just to make it a little bit beefier. And I'm also gonna copy over the same pedal effect, just to give it that old timely feel as well as the bit crusher. Finally, we're gonna bring in the vocal sample. Now, I'm not sure if it was a sample used in the track or just a live recording. You can let me know in the comments below if you do know what they used on this track. But I just sampled a little portion of it just to give you an idea of what it sounds like with some vocals in the background. That's pretty much the track right there. Now I'm just gonna go mix it and arrange it. And when I come back, we'll listen to the remake we just put together, 8 a.m. in Charlotte by Drake. So that right there is Drake's 8 a.m. in Charlotte. For your Logic users, I'm gonna go ahead and save this entire session for you, place it as a downloadable link below this video. If you don't use Logic, I got your back as well. I'm gonna export the mini stamps, audio stamps, and of course, include the drum kit that you heard in this remake. You can find that playback down below the like button as well. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later, peace.